Microsoft OneNote is an absolutely fantastic way to take notes and gather information which is important to your study at university. It's part of the Office 365 suite, so you probably already know how to use lots of it. And if you followed my previous video on information you need in your first week of university to get your laptop ready, you're already going to have it because you've got Office 365. But I want to go into more detail about what you need to do to make this work for you. So firstly, what is it? Basically, it's just note-taking app. But you can put photos, you can put images, you can put text, you can put um, sound, you can put everything you can think of. Now, where do you get it from? It's really simple. As I said before, you just download it with the Office 365 subscription. But if you've forgotten about that, it's even easier. You can just go to the App Store on your Mac or the Windows Shop on PC. Or if you're on a phone or a tablet, just go to your App Store on that device. Search for OneNote download it and it's on your device and that's fine. Then, first time you open it, you sign in with your standard account. You'll be asked, do you want to sign in with institution account? You say, yes, I'm a student. Go through the process and you're in. So what I'm gonna show you is how to get things working. Now, the only thing to think about before you run this is make sure you have Microsoft OneDrive set up. Again, that's part of the Office 365 platform, so you should already have that before. For details, see the previous video. Anyhow, let's go into that now and check out how to use OneNote for your courses. This is really important because you're gonna to have to keep logbooks to keep your information in order to pass modules, so pay attention. So here we are in Microsoft OneNote. I'm gonna show you a few things about the basic interface to give you some familiarity, and then we're going to go in and set up a workbook for your first module. So we've got the standard kind of office interface going around, and on the very left hand side, we have our notebooks. A notebook is your big collection of stuff. Now you want to have one notebook per module. So in the first semester, you might have three modules, so you'd have three notebooks. So this is one for me, uh, DSB832, which is Usability Principles and Practice, the module which I'm leader on. And then in the second column, we've got sections. So we've got lecture notes. And you see here on the next section, it's got pages. So we've got many pages within a section, many sections within a notebook. So in this case, lecture notes, we see this is a note from week one. I can click onto week two, week three, and just collect all the information and in notes week by week in one place. The next thing is gonna be having assessments. So anything about the first piece of coursework, you know, group work, collecting data, um, how to do guides, whatever, to keep on there. Same for, for assessment two. Now you are completely free to create as many sections and pages as you like, as long as you can follow it clearly. Now you'll notice on the left hand side that the notebooks have disappeared, because when you go into one notebook, it just hides them away. To get them back, just click on the chevron, and here we are. So that's basically all there is to it. You have notebooks, which are modules, sections, which are things you ought to think about, and then pages, the actual things, like here with weeks. So how do we create a notebook? Let's go and create your first one for your first module. Down the bottom here, we've got, it says notebook. I'm gonna click on the plus arrow. And this says, you know, I can create something new. Any color you like, I'm gonna choose magenta because it's nice and strong. And I'm gonna call this test module. You can call it what you like, but something like the unit code or module code is definitely a good idea. I then choose where to store it. Now, I only have one choice, which is OneDrive. Now, you might have a few choices. It might say your computer. You need to store this on OneDrive. That's because if you store it on OneDrive, every single note you take is saved to the cloud and accessible from every single device, from your tablet, from your phone, from your computer, everything. If you save it to your computer, you can only access the information from that machine, which means that if you lose the computer, get smashed and damaged or a virus, then you lose your workbook. So always save the cloud, which is why you must have OneDrive installed beforehand. So that's already selected. I'm gonna go and say create. And that's gonna create the notebook there. It's gonna take a few seconds to go through, and there we are. So we'll see now we've got test module on the side. It's got the open book, so it's open got the little syncing thing to show it's syncing up to the cloud. And I can go and make new sections. Just in the same way, to make a new section, click on the plus arrow. I'm gonna call this test section. Create a new page, guessed it, the new page, test page. And there we are. And then we just go ahead and add content. Just click anywhere and type something. 
Um, there's a whole lot of different things we can do. We can add phone numbers, addresses, highlights, schedule meetings. You can play around with this to your heart's content, but the basics are get using OneNote. Get all your tutorial meetings, all your workshops meetings, all your lecture notes, get everything together in one place because you're going to have one place to go to find all your information. As I said before, you're going to be assessed on your workbooks, particularly at the very end when you do your major project. So get used to using your logbook with um, OneNote and you will succeed great. I hope this has been really useful. If there's any questions about how to use OneNote or how to get it installed, where to find things, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. What's also great about OneNote is that it comes with an app for iPhone and Android. Just download it from the App Store and you can see that once it is loaded in a second that you've got all of your workbooks here with all your notes just like in the exercise. So you can be in a lecture, you can download all your notes and next minute it's on your computer ready to go. That's because it's cloud-based storage using OneDrive. So. Download OneNote, download OneDrive, and start making great notes today.